Hi, I'm Margaret Martin from Miller Guide, and today I had a great opportunity of listening to Dr. Hushman from San Diego State University speak about functional foods. So, Dr. Hushman, if you could um, pick the you know the best food that you would advise individuals with low bone density or osteoporosis to eat, what would you say that would be? So. Um, in terms of the bone, we have been doing research almost now 10, uh, 12 years with one functional food, which is uh, not very famous, but it's a uh, dried plum. So dried plum or prune has been really shown to be uh, the most effective one in terms of the bone loss. And if you have compared dried plum with many different fruits and vegetables and dried plum so far have been shown to be the most effective in animal studies, also in human studies. So we have done, um, you know, short-term clinical study, long-term long -term clinical studies. And uh, um, what we have seen is 100 gram dried plum, which is equal to 9 to 10 dried plum or prune per day is uh, the most effective one in terms of reducing bone loss and preventing bone loss. Great. And now my understanding is you're doing another study and mm -hmm. you're looking at a little bit lower doses for yes. those who find the exactly. higher doses challenging. <laughs> so, uh, so we are going to lower doses because some of the people have been complaining that 100 grams is too much, especially if you have a small body frame. It's hard to take 100 grams daily of the dry plum. It's equal to 240 kilocalorie per day, so it's not that bad, but we're still going to a lower dose, which is 50 gram. It's equal to five to six dry plum or prone per day, and uh, that could be as effective as 100 grams. So the study would be done hopefully soon and we will have the result, but the preliminary results are showing promising. So. So some is better than none. Yes, exactly. So right. at least having 50 gram, five to six, you know, that would be the recommended dose. Uh, better than nothing, yes. Excellent. And when you say that it had positive results in terms of bone, could you expand on that a little bit? Sure. In human studies, the dose we have been always using before the current study has been just 100 gram, which is 10 to 12. Um, or 9 to 10, depends on the size of the plum really. <laughs> so you really have to measure the weight um, of a dry plum daily. And um, so this has been done in postmenopausal women and they are prone to bone loss. So they lose normally 1 to 1.5% bone per year if there are no treatment, if there are no hormone replacement therapy or bone medication or anything. So this is the normal bone loss. And what we have seen our postmenopausal women who were also osteopenic is the they did not lose any bone after a year. Um, not only they didn't lose any bone, but also they increased their bone density up to 1%. So this is what I mean, the positive effects of the dried plum in terms of the bone, so. Excellent. Well, thank you very uh, much for sharing no problem. your thank research you. information with the viewers. <laughs> thank you, it's really my pleasure. It. And thank good luck you. with the future research. Thank you very much, thanks.